Hey there, tech fans. Welcome back to Minimal Nerd. Today's topic is Apple latest and greatest claim about their M3 MacBook Pro. They say its 8GB of RAM is as powerful as 16GB in a typical PC. Sounds intriguing, right? Let's dive deep into this and see what's up. First off, let's talk about Apple saying, their marketing VP, Bob Bircher, claims that the M3 MacBook Pro with only 8 gigabit of RAM can match PCs with 16 gigabit. That's a bold statement, especially considering PCs with 16 gigabit are often less expensive. So what's special about the M3 chip? It blends the CPU, GPU, and RAM together. Apple argues that this makes their MacBook Pro ultra fast and efficient, but can this really make 8 gigabit work as 16 gigabit? Let's look closer. In Apple's test, the new MacBook excels at everyday tasks. But when pushed with demanding apps like video editing tools, the 8 gigabit MacBook Pro tends to fall behind its 16 gigabit counterpart. This shows that there is a definite performance gap. Another key feature in Apple's design is memory swapping. It's a neat idea where the Mac uses part of its SSD as an extra RAM. However, even though SSDs are fast, they're not as quick as RAM, and using them like this might shorten their lifespan. Do you remember the memory issue we had with the M1 chip? It seems that the M3 might have a similar challenge. Poor memory management can lead to slower performance. That's a big deal for anyone who needs a fast and reliable Mac. So choosing between 8GB and 16GB of RAM, let me tell you this. For basic tasks, 8GB should be fine. But for more intense workloads like video editing or 3D design, consider the 16 gigabit model. Apps are only getting more demanding and upgrading a Mac isn't a walk in the park anymore. Now, I've got a very unique setup, a Hackintosh running both macOS and Windows. It's a great way to compare RAM usage across the same hardware. And from what I've seen, the RAM usage is pretty similar on both OS, even for tasks like web browsing. Now let's talk about using third-party apps. Take After Effects for example. Big projects need a lot of RAM. Without enough RAM, you cannot even open them. This is where having more RAM really makes a difference. So why is Apple making this claim? It seems to me that this is a strategy to make the 8GB MacBook seem more appealing, despite the higher price. In today's world, 8GB on a premium laptop feels a bit limited, especially with the $200 jump to the 16GB RAM. This is not new, Apple has made bold claims before. Remember the butterfly keyboards? They said those were better, but they had lots of problems. It's not unusual for tech companies to hype up their product, but with the M3 MacBook Pro, we're seeing a significant performance difference that's hard to ignore. To wrap it up, Apple M3 chip is a step forward, but the claim about 8 gigabit of RAM being as good as 16 gigabit, that's up for debate. If you're doing light tasks, the 8 gigabit model would be just fine. But for anything more demanding, the 16 gigabit or higher is a smarter choice. I personally use 32 gigabit RAM on my MacBook Pro. It handles everything smoothly. So I still think that RAM is very critical for any high demanding workload. And I believe that Apple claim is not really true. Thanks for watching the video. Now let me know what do you think about Apple's claim? Can 8 gigabyte really compete with 16 gigabyte? Please drop your thoughts below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and ring that bell for more tech talks. Catch you in the next one.